Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Star. So today is a discussion of um, Amimori team comps, first and foremost. Uh, included in those team comps is also a discussion of the captain swap mechanic because I, I built in the captain swap mechanic into those teams and also your chain combo strategies with one of the team. Okay, so this video it can be long. I'll be putting timestamps in the description so that you won't, you know, if you just want to skip to a specific team comp, then you go to that team comp. So there are going to be four um, specific uh, areas of the discussion wherein there will be four timestamps. So number one is skill discussion. Number two is your Amemori and Kayano team. Next is Amimori and Momo and Anzo team. Then the last is Amimori and Florine team. So basically your Thunder team. So without further ado, I'm going to be discussing first um, Amimori. For those who are not really familiar with her kit and how to use her, I'm going to give you guys um, kind of a more clear, um, clear mechanic on how she's going to be used how she how you're going to be playing her so starting off with her skills so her active skill here is shadow trace consume two points of ninja power so ninja power take note guys gain one point per round you can gain one point per round up to five points so if you you if you're capped at five points you have to use it or else you cannot gain more Okay, so it's in choose one traversable tile to summon one katana. If the katana already exists on the selected tile, Amimori will teleport to the tile immediately and retrieve the katana, gaining one point of ninja power. So basically, she only spends um, she only spends uh, one because she gains um, she spends two, gains the one back. Okay, just a tip here: when you're using her active active skill to activate the teleport. In one turn, I would suggest that you have four uh, for ninja power so that you could put a katana, then the next two would be teleporting there. So that is a tip on how to use it. Um, combo, uh, chain combo is actually where you can generate more um, katana and also equipment. So I'll discuss that later, but definitely once you run her chain combo, you have to run at least up to 8 so that you can generate one katana. And when you are at 13, you can generate uh, two katanas for a single chain combo. Um, take note, um, I mentioned earlier Florine. Florine is going to be doubling her chain combo so if it's going to be 13 therefore it's going to be four if it's eight it's going to be if it's going to be eight here chain combos instead of one it's going to yield two uh for 13 instead of two it's going to yield four because of florine okay so last on her equipment uh, skill so after teleporting the skill the active skill retrieve all katanas each katana deals 120 damage to the nearest one enemy while ignoring their defense so this is very good. All damage goes straight, ignoring defense. Further, the furthest distance lower the damage minimum 20% of the original damage. If at least four katanas are retrieved, one new katana will be summoned. So there's a replacement at least of at least four used. When Amimor becomes the captain, she gains one ninja power. So uh this me what this means is the, the the existing built in swap mechanic she she will she can gain two from there and uh, if there are other aurorians that could uh, that has a that can swap her out and in it gives additional ninja power so that is why um anzu uh, momo and anzu and kayano is going to be featured in one of the teams or two of the teams Okay, so triggers up to three times per round. So she can only gain ninja power three times per round. So that is basically what it means. So um, one thing to note for her equipment, it's better that you take her to level 10 so that her each katana will be doing 150. I'm now at level level 9, but te technically the skill is what at level 6 at 120. So definitely level up her equipment if 
you want to really make use of her and also guys just to make sure her breakthrough by the way so this is actually in handy so um her first copy is going to be here active skill enhancement gain one point of ninja at the start of each wave. this is actually very handy it's a passive gain of ninja power so additional for her but if you want really to you know to play with the captain you know the captain swap mechanic this is going to be good so this is adds to the plus one the three which is existing then you plus one so basically you have four so if you have another um aurorian that has um this skill then it's going to be a plus five so and so on and so forth so that is it for Amimori. Um, the other two synergies that uh, she has is going to be Kayano. So for Kayano, this will be a bit short. I'm not going to delve into all of Kayano's skills. Um, recently just uh, leveled her up. And uh, for her active skill, just want to pinpoint. This is the one that we're going to be using. Um, she's, going to, she's going to put... Kayano uh, put uh, Amimori in and out of uh, the captain position so that Amimori can charge as well. And this one um, is swap, active swap. And this one is a passive swap. So this uh, is actually going to be triggered at the start of the round when she realizes that she is the, the what do you call this, the captain then the second one should be amimori so that she could put amimori to the captain slot so those are the things for her skills for her breakthrough nothing special but if you could take her again here with um, this one the last one so captain changes for the battle add another plus one so this is actually um, an additional one and um, next is going to be momo and anzo so for Momo and Anzo, um, they're still right now in the event. You could actually level, the, you could have them to five yellow stars. And eventually, you will need them to be ascensioned because their their second, second what they call the second element or sub-element is going to be Thunder. That is why they are important to join a Sudo th Thunder team. So by the way, for, for them... Equipment, uh, this is going to be the one that is going to be switching uh, a memory. So this one is also an automatic switch as long as you know where to place a memory. So at the beginning of each round, Momo and Anzo will become a captain automatically while the rest of the team retreats to one position. Okay, so this is... Um, I'm going to explain my team comp later so that this triggers a memory um, to the to swap between momo and anzo okay and also for breakthrough if you could uh, break through momo and anzo up to here this will also enhance the captain change for battle so basically if you have three if you have two um Aurorians that have uh, these ones so you have five total so that's already a good start to probably have a quick you know quick one off of your enemy and the last would be crucial is going to be florine sad to say i don't have florine at at uh, breakthrough three <laughs> really really sad so for florine the most cru crucial one is going to be breakthrough three so if you have this she has preemptive strike if you don't have this definitely your runs with your thunder team would really come to a crawl I tell you, sometimes, um, sometimes she cannot uh, put out her double um, chain, uh, her chain combo twice. This one, the active skill, and the enemies usually died already. So anyway, I'm just gonna feature them in the three team lineups plus gameplay for you guys. Again, take note that there are timestamps to this video. So for if you want to skip to a team, then you can skip throughout the video so let's start with our first team okay so off with our first team this is going to be water so you can actually put amimori of course in water because her sub sub uh, what you call this element is water 
So you have um, Kayano, of course, in the captain spot because at the start of the game, she will be transferring to the back. Then Amimori goes to the captain spot, which gives her one ninja power. Or I think that was ninja power. But that is your, your the, the, the most important thing here. The rest are your, of course, your um, converters. One, two, three. And let's, let's start this out. Okay, so starting this out, we have a boss, a single boss for the stage. So as you can see here, automatically Kayano swaps to the back, uh, giving the floor to Amimori. So we'll start this off. So you have three um, captain swaps. Let's just uh, do this and hopefully we can... Uh, what do you call this? We can do some chain combo. So this team, um, it's really not going to be um, centered around um, uh, the combo damages. Uh, the, sorry, the, the twice combo. This is going to be centered around the play of the captain swap. So we have one there. So she she's now at three. So if you're going to do a, a captain swap, a swap here. So obviously they're gonna be swapping places. Then you're gonna be swap set setting her as captain. So you have four already. So try to expand at least one. Let's have one here in the middle. Then after this, gonna be doing some chain combo so that we could get two. So this one is really centered on your captain swap so that you could maximize captain swapping and the buffs actually because Kayano as well does do give buffs uh, in terms of um, in terms of moving positions of for the rest of the team she gives buffs as well so again the the captain swap uh, mechanic is is centered between both and uh, they're basically accumulating buffs and accumulating katanas. So we have here a Aurora time. Let's try. Let's get another katana. Hopefully with a eight combo ten. So there you go. So we'll get another katana there. So you have to have a memory as your captain so that you could get more katanas even though the, the rest of the team doesn't attack so let's do this so i gain one because of the breakthrough three of amimori let us uh just uh waste more time here okay so not sure where to go let's go here Okay, I'm just gonna do one more um, refill of um, the cooldown here. So, again, I'm gonna put down one at least. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna wait for four later. So, I'm gonna do a swap to charge up. Then I have two. Then go back to setting her as captain. We have three. So we have to... We can actually generate, I think, one more here. Yeah, that's eight. Gonna have one big bang later. One more. Katana. Okay, so next round. Next round is definitely going to be the last one, I think. So if not, I still have um, Barton here to have a, to have another converter within the next few turns. So let's uh, try to do this. So I have four, right? So what you do is... I'm going to set one there. That the last one will be used for the skill already because um, I'm going to do a chain combo hopefully to take um, this boss out. Finish it. There you go. 
look at that damage then the last would be your chain combo so i think that's it so again um preemptive strike definitely helps so there you go so water team with um kayano and amimori okay guys so we have here a sorry I'm, i said fire team this is going to be a thunder team with momo and anzu here momo and anzu for those who have missed what i mentioned earlier her second uh her sub element is going to be thunder so she's really gonna be good with a thunder team except that she cannot um take or benefit from the active skill of florine but it's okay um the mechanic here is also swap so we'll do this so florine actually doesn't have um preemptive strike so uh I don't know if we could showcase her skill, but definitely if we could stay that long while her cooldown comes around, then it's going to be good. Okay, so here we are with our Thunder team with Momo and Anzo. Same enemy as usual. So first and foremost, again, um, if th there was preemptive strike here, this was going to be fast. So as you can see there for the, her equipment, automatically she becomes captain. Uh, Momo and Anzu. So, all you have to do here is do a captain swap. And she gains three. Okay, so that is where um, she is going to be at. And uh, let's do some converting here. Conversions, conversions. Um, okay, so... Um, if you had Florine here, definitely this is going to be a big damage and a lot of katanas. But at this point, um, we're not going to have that. So just going to discharge one katana for this stage. So hopefully we could just uh, do a combo platter here. <laughs> okay. So again... Um, the objective of the katanas here is um, actually a safety net on damage because as you can see uh, for my thunder team the damage is already big and you have aurora time here so it's gonna transfer here so that it could take those blue tiles later okay so again the katanas would serve as your so again a swap automatic swap then gonna return her as captain that she gets another one it's gonna plant planting so none i cannot do any okay so we're ending there. So just going to be waiting for another um, pass at this. So this is going to be extra. The, the active skill of Momo and Anzu. I think that the damage is pretty much decent. Just have You really just have to level her up. So again, just going to leave that there. Just in case I want to make sure that I can teleport and get a katana. But I have to move so that I can get more tiles later. So if you guys want to see uh, what Florine does, I have to skip this. So captain swap again, set as captain. Okay. Then she has four. No. We're going to do that later, the, the, the tile conversion. So I have to move somewhere. Okay. So I think this last stage is going to be it. No, not last stage. But this is it. Um, going to be doing this. So... 
once after your chain combo, if your boss is still there, definitely you're going to be building up a lot of um, katanas there. It's going to be four, definitely, for this one. So let's see if... Um, Let's see if uh, we can... Uh, let, let's do it here. Oh, no. Uh, let's do it here. Initiate one. Then if you want to use your katanas now, you can. Or you can use it later as a finishing one. Because you'll be generating four. Definitely from this run. So let's let's do the katanas later. Um, after this run, just in case the boss is still alive. I lack one. <laughs> it's okay. So let's do this. Definitely, I'm going to be gaining four. If the boss is still there, then he's going to be lucky. So 16... There you go. Another one. There you go. So let's do this. And uh, hopefully the boss dies by this time. If not, you just have to do a bit more damage. So there you go. So that's it for your Momo and Anzo swap mechanic. So swap mechanic and combo chain really gives you your katanas. Then we're going to be moving on to the All Thunder team. Okay, so for your All Thunder team, there are a lot of compositions for this one. Um, this is what I'm, I'm using because I don't have much um, in terms of uh, Aurorian. So... Um, the other team comp that I could do is going to be it's gonna be let's try to swap uh, Revy in here. So this is the other one that I'm using. Um, preferably Revy should be Michael, but I don't have Michael yet. So this is your team composition. The other one, let's put Florine back here um, instead of Revy. The other one, um, the first team was Nemesis, right? If um, I think the most optimal lineup is going to be with um, who is it? Uh, yeah, Nemesis. That's it, Nemesis and Florine. So this is your most optimal lineup. So both um, Florine and Nemesis should have preemptive strikes. So. Nemesis I don't have yet <laughs> and Florine so we'll have to bear with this lineup okay so this lineup is going to be pretty much very good um, as long as they've been breakthrough so let's start this matchup out okay so for this one um, captain swap will be will will be take a back seat into the mechanic for this one you can do still captain swap because you have three but there are no other Aurorians that can do swappings for for uh, Amimori. So um, this lineup will definitely be relying on Florine. But again, I don't have a preemptive strike for Florine. So that's very sad. So I'll try to... If you have... Actually, if you have a preemptive strike, this matchup would be quick. And this would be a more fun lineup to to use but definitely uh, right now i have some constraints or restraints in terms of uh, pulling off a quick kill on the boss so i'll have to do this um without the preemptive strike for florine so i don't really have a choice at this point guys so Please bear with me. I still do have to level up some of uh, my, what do you call this? My Aurorians. So as you can see there, you can swap in, set her as captain. Then we'll do, we can actually do the, the what do you call this? This now. So set her. Then the last one is just to pump up more. Uh, what do you call this? 
ninja power. So initiate. Just gonna put this. Oh, oh okay. Just gonna do this later. So we're gonna have to move away from this one. There you go. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna generate more katana just by running away. So generating katanas in the field. It's gonna look for another chain combo to just uh, generate katanas here. At least eight guys to generate one. So I'm gonna leave this at four. So you can store five, right, as a maximum. So 13 rounds to go. Okay, we're now at five. I must use them. So I'm gonna use the converters later. Uh, but I have to use this at least one. And do some, get some more katanas here. Katana, katana. There you go. Okay, so hopefully another katana. Two more katanas. Okay. So I think this is going to be... Good. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the field as of the moment. So it's going to wait for Florine to charge up again to charge up her. Okay, so I have all four converters here. Let's do with, uh, with Nemesis first because uh, he puts out more. Hopefully I could do two... Two 15 chain combos with one Aurora time. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I could do that. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so the dilemma here is... Um, it's going to do that later, after, after the chain combo. So let's do the chain combo first. Oops. Wrong, wrong, wrong way, wrong way. I'm gonna go back. To be safe. There you go. One. It's gonna have to. Okay. I don't think I could do one more Aurora time with that one, but definitely this will be very, very close into, as you can see there, have two and another two, 38 or 34%, 30%, 29, 25, 24, 22, down to eight. And <laughs> she kills the boss. <laughs> that is why but after that actually you could you know if the boss is still standing you could do um all of those katanas in one uh finishing blow and there you go guys so that is it for your pure thunder team so hopefully guys i have you know um given you some ideas on how to make your team composition with chain combo and captain swap for your uh, battery or generating your uh, ninja katanas ninja power for your katanas okay guys so thank you very much for staying this far so hopefully you have um gotten something from this video and uh, if you're still here please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here